Like if you look like this, stop what's up you guys it's Aiden welcome back to my channel I hope you guys are well it's definitely been a long time but as you guys can see from the title of this video if you are a trans woman trans feminine or femme presenting individual and you would like to know how to cover up your five o'clock shadow your stubble your facial hair and using color correcting makeup please keep on watching before we get started, I wanna say that this makeup technique only works on freshly shaven faces. So if you haven't done so already, go ahead and remove that facial hair and I'll meet you back here. So the first thing that you're gonna need is a high coverage concealer. Now I like using creams because it feels like I can cover a lot more and plus it has a thicker consistency so it's really gonna cover up. You're also going to need an orange pigment so you can use a powder blush or a liquid like this. However, I feel like they always discontinue liquids more than blushes. So I am gonna show you guys how to use a powdered blush today. So taking the powdered blush, I'm going to swirl my finger in it, picking up a lot of product, and I'm going to start mixing it into my concealer, and it's gonna turn it almost like a peachy, salmon-y shade that is going to cover up all of those purple and gray tones on your face. So it looks like this. Unless you are a drag queen or a performer and you are painting for the back of the room, you should never go into your orange pigment and just brush it onto your face. Like this. Like if you look like this, Stop. Because not only is this a waste of product because you don't need this much, but two, you're going to have to work a lot harder to cover up this orange pigment. And then taking a brush, you're going to pick up a little bit of product. Always use a brush for this step because it's going to give you the most coverage. Something like a beauty blender is going to eat away some of the product and make it look a little bit more sheer. But if you're trying to cover up something like stubble or facial hair, you want the most coverage possible. So I'm going to just brush it away. And then almost immediately you can see that it has covered up the darkness, the sallowness. And what's really great about this technique is you won't have to work as hard to blend and cover up the orange shade because it's mixed in already with a concealer that is your skin tone. After it dries down for a little bit, I go in with a beauty blender. So I'm not gonna go all over it because sponges tend to pick up a lot of product and you wanna keep as much coverage on your face as possible. So what I actually do is I blend out the edges. So in an everyday situation, I wouldn't do this, but let's say if I wanted to do a more special occasion type makeup, or I wanna have my pictures taken, or I'm doing something like this where it's a little bit more video HD type of stuff, I'm gonna go over it with a foundation to give it a little bit more coverage. And then I'm gonna go in with a little bit of powder foundation to set everything. And after that, you have a blank canvas to do whatever makeup look you desire. That's it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please leave me a comment down below letting me know if the tips worked out for you or any other video topics you would like to see or for me to cover. And also, if you haven't done so already, please subscribe so I can see you here again. And until next time, bye.